look at this thing. It tells you collision. So if you're going to get close to a car, All right, today we're gonna bring a dash cam. And look at this, this is a large dash cam that's also have a navigation system. So I do own an old car that does not have any of the technology that's uh, useful, especially the GPS corner, um, uh, guidance. Also, they include the manual, two types of mounts. They have an actual suction cup mount. And if you don't have anything, they do give you a surface so you can actually paste this on uh, a those have a adhesive in the back also the other one for just a regular mount but this is actually to mount in your of your car dashboard of your car and then they give you a backup camera too so you can install this with a long cable now just to be aware there are there is if you want to connect it to your uh, speakers there is um an audio jack all right 3.5 if you guys can see that gps has its own adhesive you're gonna have to mark it in and you have to connect this to your actual console right and you should go into here um like i said two types of connections with the adhesives and the double-sided we're gonna set this up first we're gonna take out the old one that we had in here all right let's take a look at the actual console itself all right and you have a power button in the in the, in the top all right you have ex plenty of um, exhaust for the any kind of heat uh in the front of it you got the camera here make sure you remove all the uh, stickers and tape all right underneath of it nothing but on the side panel this is very important this is where the auxiliary cable goes in here usb types type a to charge anything you want or connect it to the actual system to give it power um they give you a 64 micro sd card gps connection that you have to connect in here av connection this is for your backup connection and then you have a type c connection that you that you're going to require if you don't have a type c in your car it's fine they do give you the lighter connection with the fuse and a type c connection so we're going to power this up today and we're going to try test it out it's 64 um, gigs of memory uh we're going to try the backup cam and the front cam so let's go ahead and do that all right so we got it set up already and you can see my dash cam i'm actually going to move the cable down a little bit back all right that's my forward camera and i'm going to adjust this to however i want um i could click on this to see a full view you could adjust to however you want this is the front camera very important connecting your system into your your code into your actual phone uh, download the app and then you have more options in the dashboard so we're going to do that so I activated my phone using my dash cam and uh, I'm able to get into here and make changes too from here. We could change the name of the camera. We could download the app, uh, any video that we have on our phone uh, from the system to our phone. If you want, we can make a manual changes uh, do the navigation and other stuff. So that's pretty much all the features that are included on your phone. If you ever get in an accident, you could transfer in your phone, show the police officer or show whoever you have uh, in the dash cam immediately so i like this feature it's uh, an option that a lot it's not it's not very difficult to get out of here but other systems are very difficult to actually get the video so now we have a lot of applications on our system we could have music we could set a, check our full camera if we want we could go back into what we were in we have our navigation system we have music and so forth you could add apps you have google assistance on the actual dash cam before we didn't have anything on this car this is an older car it doesn't have anything this is a great addition for it if you guys can see that driving at night is actually really good easy uh, in fact you know look at all the cars how they look very sharp 